Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stalker Clear Sky. I'm Shadefire as always, and this is episode 5. Last time, we came to the garbage looking for a stalker named Fang. Now these diggers were supposed to know where he was, but they all seem to be dead. However, one messenger may still be alive, so we're going to go scope him out and uh, try to find out where Fang went. We're also going to quickly do some inventory management. We're going to dump our noiseless pistol, because it's not much use to us now, and we're going to be getting some new pistols in the next area. So we're going to dump that, and we're also going to dump our extra Fort 12. Uh, accuracy 40, actually 20. Okay, we're going to drop this one, because we don't need it. And we're just going to use our other one for now. Oh, sounds like the digger is still alive and in trouble. Hey buddy, watch out! There's a shitload of dogs around here! Climb onto the rocks, quick! I don't... I don't really see any dogs, man. I mean, I see a few dead ones, but, uh, don't see really any other ones. A lot of crows, though. Get away from me, you freaking flea bags! Oh, here they come. No point in wasting AK ammo on these guys. Please don't push me off the rock. I'd, I'd rather not get eaten by dogs. Thanks, buddy. You saved me right there. My name is Vasian. Picture this. I'm on my way west, trying to catch up with this stalker, minding my own business and all, and these eyeless beasts come out of nowhere. I emptied three clips into the damn things, but they just kept on coming and chased me all the way to here. There's no way I'll catch that stalker now. He's got to be in the dark valley at this point. I'm all ears. Alright, so it seems Fang has already moved on from the garbage. Even though we just got here, we're already leaving. Now, there are two entrances to the Dark Valley from the garbage. One here, and one up here. Now, unlike the entrances to the cordon, the uh, entrances to the garbage are not held by bandits, so we don't have to worry about getting robbed when we try to leave or come back. Instead, they're actually held by another faction we haven't seen yet. Some more loners here. Come on, spill the bee. See if you got a mission for us? Yes, you do. Inscribed pistol. Speed up! And he threw his pistol away when he got chased by bloodsuckers. I don't know why you'd do that, but uh, we'll go get that later. Next time we're in the garbage. There's also a dead guy back here. Might as well search him while we're at it. Because he's got nothing. Not sure where these guys are going. Okay, I gotta be careful. There's a whirly gig anomaly around here that I always run into. Okay, I guess I passed it without even seeing it again. And off we go to the Dark Valley. Dark Valley is in quarantine. Put your weapon away and come here very slowly. No sudden movements. I just want to have a chat with you. Now despite the similar sound, we're not actually about to get robbed here. Freeze. Hold 
holster your weapon and stand still. Try pulling a fast one and you're dead. Stand still, brother. This way. All right, stalker. Stay put. Who are you? And what are you doing here? So as you can see, this guy is a member of the faction Freedom. Freedom is one of the big two factions in the zone that fight over the, all of the territory. The other being Duty, which we will be seeing quite a bit later. He's probably dead already. And I suggest you don't hang around here too long, unless you want to join me. Someone keeps attacking us. They're real professional about it too. We never stand a chance. We control all the roads leading into the Dark Valley, but that don't seem to stop the attacks one bit. The one place you can relax is the base. If you have questions about Fang, the Freedom Base is your best bet. Now, Freedom's main outlook is that humanity has to coexist with the zone, whereas Duty's main outlook is that it has to be destroyed because it's an abomination. What was that shooting all about? What's going on over there? Damn, another attack! Mark, check for survivors at the outpost! And now they want our help already. Of the two, Freedom is more uh, of a laid-back faction. They're not quite as organized as Duty. Duty's more of a military faction. What you got for me? And this guy has a quest for us. No, he doesn't. Fedya Immortal. Well, I don't think he'd be too immortal if I put a bullet in his face right now, but uh, I don't think his friends would like All that right. too much. Tell me what you know. Oh, there's some bodies over there. What brings you here, stalker? Sadly, my propensity for loot has distracted me once again. <laughs> Oh, and it's a boar's nest. Still, it's worth it for the potential stash info those bodies might have. And boar are hardly threatening. These ones aren't even coming after me. Come at me, boar bro. Hmm. Zenka Polar Explorer. Well, you seem to be in the uh, wrong climate for that kind of name. And Fedya Bayonet. Sadly, we don't have any bayonets in this game. Both of these guys are out of place, and that's probably why they're dead. Alright, so now we've got to go up to here where the outpost was attack and there's also here now right now dark valley is the freedom's main base this changes in shadow of chernobyl which takes place after the game of course where it gets moved to a place called the army warehouses which we'll be seeing later but for now the dark valley is a fairly safe place and you can see there's freedom squads all over the place despite the fact that they're getting attacked and picked off one by one in shadow of chernobyl there are a lot more dangerous mutants in the dark valley and Nobody here except bandits. Though the military does later show up. Those of you familiar with Shadow of Chernobyl will know that there's a fairly important location under the Dark Valley, but uh, I won't bring it up just in case you're not familiar. See, there's a bizarre anomaly up there. It's a type of mobile burner anomaly that just goes back and forth. Can't really do anything about it from here, but we'll check it out later. Ah, oh, shit, more dogs. Well, we don't have the luxury of standing on a rock this time, so we'll just take these guys out quickly. Ah, shit. Much like bullets, being bitten by a mutant will actually prevent you from sprinting, so once they hit you once, you're kind of pinned down. Let's try this again with a bit less dying, maybe. Alright, I've dealt with the dogs now by standing on this crate. 
Now all we can do is go investigate the Freedom Headquarters. And see if they know where Fang went. So it seems the Commandant has already taken an interest in us, which is good, because hopefully he knows what we need to know. However, before we talk to him, let's have a chat with the technician. What have you got for me, Sonny? Who is Stephen Blum? I feel like making some cash. Of course we do, we're a mercenary. He needs us to do something secret at night. Alright, well we'll come back and talk to him then. But is it we're also me, gonna fix or our shit. everyone's hands growing out of their asses? Nah, it's not me. Alright, all our stuff is repaired. And he is actually capable of doing the final upgrade on our AK. The other merchant wasn't able to because he wasn't advanced enough. However, it's gonna cost us most of our cash to do. I think it's worth it for the extra accuracy, though. What did you break? Now, do you have any jobs for us? Oh, he just has the typical uh, find some USBs with gun data on them. And his specialty is the Dragonov sniper rifle. He's the only technician in the game that can fully upgrade it. Though that's not really much Don't use to us right now, seeing anything. as we haven't found one. Or even seen one. Uh, there's actually another guy here who might what have a mission for me? us. Hey, he's got a Dragonov. Only we could kill him and take it. Yeah. No mission for us. And over here is the chill barman with the Jamaican jams. What the hmm. He doesn't have a mission for us either. Here is your chance to join you want some good old medicine? You came to the right place, dude. And of course, the bartender is a laid back guy named Ganja. He doesn't have any rewards for us yet, but he is the guy we talked to to get rewards from Freedom. Peace out, dude! Too bad we didn't roll a joint together. Yes, too bad. What's this, your backyard? Who let you in? But you told me to come see you. That doesn't seem like the best attitude to adopt. Alright, so apparently Fang is a hobo. So we can't talk to the leader, but if we do some jobs, we can grease the wheels and they'll let us in. Too many bombs around you. Alright, so our first job is pretty simple. They've got a uh, nasty little side dog hanging out in the neighborhood. Now, we haven't seen any side dogs yet, but they are a much more vicious dog than the blind dogs that we've been fighting up to this point. And they have the ability to shoot psychic projections of themselves at you, and thus uh, kind of try to confuse you by not knowing which one to shoot at. Oddly, Psy Dogs were in Shadow of Chernobyl, but they didn't have their Psychic Projection ability, though it was added in by uh, mods. Now, if we can get lucky, we can actually get the drop on this thing and unload a clip into it before it starts shooting Psychic- oh fuck. Alright, never mind. Boy, you those mutants. Come back for more instructions. 
Now that one is much easier than any of the ones you find in the wild because, well, it was sitting here waiting for us to show up. Normally you don't even see the first dog before you see all the psychic projections coming at you. And there's a stash in here. But it's a shitty stash, it just has an MP5 and some ammo for it. And we don't need an MP5 because we already moved on to bigger and better guns. So we're just gonna drop that shit on the ground. We're gonna head back to the Commandant and see if he'll let us in yet. Me again? Man, what a lousy day! How's it shaping up, Merc? And of course, he's already got us on another job. And quit bothering me over nothing. I'm busy. Alright, bring your stupid gun over here. I know can leave my shop alone. You come to me, eh? How about you just use that damn gun right in your shop in the most unnatural way possible? For some reason, they've got us delivering ammo of all things. That can't be much of a job. Alrighty, show me your harvest. Asshot here has the worst voice. Hey, buddy, what will you be needing today? And rookies, if you value your freedom and want to be among others like you, join us. Freedom welcomes Wait, everyone. Wait, do offload your crap on me! All right, so it seems that everyone is afraid to go out. So this uh, routine ammo delivery is actually pretty shitty task to get slapped with. Especially considering that they're right there, like, barely outside of the Freedom Walls. Now we are running pretty low on money, so if we can find any artifacts, that'd be real nice. And I happen to know that there is one on top of this silo. As you can see on our uh, this is radar. Jacob. The outpost was attacked. I don't know if anyone survived, but the PDA is still active. It might contain some useful info. Find it and bring it to me. Alright, so up here we've got a chemical anomaly. I believe it is right in front of us, the actual anomaly. But we will also take dam damage from the uh, gas around it. So, we're gonna quick save and then try to hop this railing. Careful, careful. Alright. And there it is. Oh, shit. We're also very irradiated now, but we've got some roundaway, so it's not too bad. And some bandages. I think that went pretty smooth. What did we get out of it? A soul, which increases health, but also boosts how much radiation we're taking. So, just like the other gravity artifact we found, it's not much use to us until we have something that absorbs radiation. We're just gonna sell it. And already you can see on the mini-map that the entire squad here is dead. Bunch of gray dots. This mysterious tunnel. Mysterious. Now we're supposed to be grabbing the PDA, however these stalkers also have something else we want. All of them are carrying these, L85A2s. A new type of gun we haven't seen yet. Now, unlike the AK, the L85 uses the 5.56x45 uh, NATO rounds, which are a bit less common in the zone. Another problem is that even when they have high condition, the uh, NATO guns are much more prone to jamming from the slightest things. So we're going to grab all of these. And uh, we're going to sell all the ones except uh, whichever one is in best condition. And there's the PDA, which has a message on it. Shit, man. 
way to screw up. What a rotten son of a bitch, that commandant. All that horseshit he gave us about how the outpost was out of ammo. Those freedom bastards wounded two of our boys. Enough yapping. Let's cover up our tracks and get out of here. Alright, so it seems the Commandant is a traitor, and has been leaking information to whoever's been attacking the Freedom Squads. It's also worth mentioning now that we're not actually a member of Freedom just because we're working for them. Right now we're just doing, uh, I guess, mercenary contracts. And we don't actually have the option to join Freedom just yet. There's no way around this wall, is there? Because we're carrying around like six guns, our stamina is burning pretty quickly right now. So, what did you want to tell me? And the rat bastard has already run off. But now we can go in and talk to the leader of freedom. And hopefully find out Fang's coordinates, location, Here wherever. Oh, Valak Pimp doesn't have any missions for us. He's also blocking the stairs. Hurry up. Howdy, partner. Well, well, finally we meet face to face. My name is Chekhov, and I'm the boss around here. The recording on the PDA you found clears things up a bit. All the exits from the valley were sealed off, but our outposts and patrols just kept getting hit. A few times we had a patrol leave the base and get slaughtered in no time. The boys started thinking that we offended the zone somehow, and that this was some sort of punishment. We even tried putting together protection charms against ghosts and all, but as we now know, there was nothing mystical about it. The Commandant gave away all our movements. Freaking rat. I didn't expect him to do this. I've known him for ages. We hunted for our first artifacts together. We made freedom what it is today. I trusted him with all the operational planning, and he just went and sold us out. Well, I mean, clearly you could never trust the man who's always wearing a helmet even inside the base. As soon as the outpost conversation was aired on our radio frequency, the Commandant vanished. He knew he was screwed. What we've got to do now is find him. He knows too much, if not everything. All the exits from the valley are secured, so he couldn't have gone too far. We're tracking his PDA. He's near the road to the cordon. A few of our squads are on their way over there. That's nice and all, but that's not really why we're here. Yep, there was a stalker like that. Very interested in rare parts and the like. He must have known that we had the best team in the whole zone. I sold him the part he wanted, and why not? He paid well and didn't even haggle. What I don't know is what he wanted with it. These parts were only used in old army cryptographic machines. He left the base straight away, and nobody's seen him since. Yeah, I'll help you. If you help me, that is. Don't take it personally, but we're having a rough time, and if things don't change, Freedom won't have enough men to defend the base from bandit attacks. Help me find out who is attacking us, and I'll give you information about Fang. Find the Commandant and bring him to me, alive. Or dead. Do that, and I'll tell you where you can find Fang. I've uploaded the coordinates of the Commandant's PDA to yours. Oh. Alright, so we do a little rat hunting, and he'll tell us where Fang went. I feel like I should have put a Stephen Blum voice counter in here. For every character we meet that's voiced by him. Alright, now we've got to be able to walk because the uh, attacks are coming from down here. They're coming from here. Spoilers. 
And, you know, why walk when you can ride? Let's hope this thing doesn't fall down the hill. Just a peaceful drive through this- oh god. Come on, spin it, spin it, yes! Oh fuck, we landed on a rock, and now the engine died. You can see why these vehicles are, uh, not in the game by default. They're definitely unfinished. But it's still faster than walking. Attention all Freedom Squads! We just ran into mercenaries by the old farm. We're meeting strong resistance. We need help! I repeat, we need reinforcements immediately! But I think that's a good enough spot to park. Here comes the cavalry. And the mercenaries we gotta watch out for because they got some pretty nice guns. Just can't hit that canister from here. I guess he wasn't affected by that grenade at all. Oh, we're certainly getting their attention over here. Oh, and there's the last two. You know, died in each other's arms tonight. His new friends found a nice spot for him on a tree. All right, grab that asshole's PDA and get right back to me. Now, all the mercenaries are rocking another gun we haven't seen yet. This is the LR 300, I believe. Wait for the name to pop up. Hell, just pick it up. It's supposed to be like a new M4, M16. It's one of the few guns that isn't actually based on an existing gun. It also uses the NATO ammo, and I think it's overall a bit better than the L85. This one's even got a silencer. We're gonna pick up a few of these too from all the mercenaries, and search them, and then head back to base to talk to Chekhov. And uh, we're gonna do that off screen because nobody likes me watching watching me loot a bunch of bodies and then drive the loot back. I think we're gonna have to make two trips because I forgot to drop off all of these guns. Transition away. All right, now that we've got that sorted, we can drop off this PDA and find out where our next step is. Thanks for your help. After the shootout at the farmhouse, we know that mercenaries are behind the attacks on freedom. Information from the Commandant's PDA also confirms this. The question is, why the hell are they doing it? Mercenaries have always stayed neutral and cooperated with all of the Zone's factions. I wonder who the client was for this little job. Perhaps it was Duty, or the Army. I've got more questions than answers right now, but I'll get to the bottom of this. You can bet on it. You've held up your end of the deal, and now I'll tell you about Fang. He was looking for rare components here, and I got real curious as to what he wanted with all that ancient crap. 
When I asked him directly, he told me to mind my own business. <laughs> it's too bad I'm not a quitting type. I asked one of our tech guys to hack into his PDA's frequency, and we were able to monitor him for a few days. It looks like he went to the garbage. I'd look for him there. By the way, I made a note of his PDA frequency, and I've already uploaded it for you. His location is now marked on your PDA. Are you ready to help freedom once again? So he wants us to do more missions for him to help out with the uh, mercenary problem. We're not going to do them just yet. Good luck. Come back anytime. Now Fang has unfortunately moved on back to the garbage. So now we have to go back to where we already were and see if we can catch up with him this time. And I think that'll do it for uh, this episode. A bit shorter than usual, but I don't want these to run on too long all the time. So I've been Shadefire, and uh, this was episode 5 of Let's Play Stalker Clear Sky. Next time, we continue on the Trail of Fang, and maybe help the uh, Freedom guys with their mercenary problem. After all, we're a mercenary and we need to get paid, because uh, we're kind of running out of money right now, so... We'll deal with that next time. Until then, see ya.